Hello everyone, my name is Rebecca. Welcome or welcome back to my booktube channel. Today I am talking about the books I'm going to read for the Sunshine Readathon. The Sunshine Readathon is a week-long readathon starting on July 25th and going through July 31st, and it is hosted by Jessica Nicole Dickerson here on YouTube. I will put all her information down below in the description box, including her announcement video with the various giveaways she's got going on. I am really looking forward to this readathon. There are challenges that you can try to complete throughout as as well. So let's go through those really quickly. I have them all written down here in my bullet journal and I'm going to attempt to complete all of them and I'm just going to kind of go through each challenge and say which book I'm planning to read for that challenge. So let's get started. The first challenge is called Golden Hour and it is to read a heartwarming book. So for this I have chosen Peaches by Jodi Lynn Anderson. Um, apparently this has received praise for being similar to The Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants. I haven't read that series either so I'm not sure how it compares, but I believe we are following three girls who have gotten into some trouble or something like that because they have supposedly been sentenced to pick peaches on a Georgia farm for the summer and I think there is romance involved and friendship happening and hopefully some life lessons going on so I think this will be a fun contemporary read making it a heartwarming book hopefully. The second challenge is called Dawnbreaker and it is to do a buddy read and this can be the book that has been chosen as the sort of group book for the readathon and I believe that is Blackout by various authors. I will put them all up on the screen because I don't have a physical copy of the book and I'm not sure who they are off the top of my head but I believe this is a collection of short stories that follow black teen romances, which sounds really fun and interesting. Um, sometimes I don't end up liking short stories because I feel like there's not enough time for the author to fully develop the characters and the plot, but I know that these authors are really popular and well known, so I think think it'll be a good collection to read for a readathon and it's also kind of nice to have short stories during a readathon because you can kind of break it up throughout the week and read like one story at a time rather than feeling like you have to read a whole book at once so I think this was a really good choice for the readathon and I look forward to listening to it because I will be listening to the audiobook via Scribd and if you wanted to try out Scribd, I do have a link in the description and you can get a month-long free trial to see how you like it. The next challenge is called Daylights and it is to read a book in one day. I feel like this challenge might be easier to do with an audiobook, however Peaches is pretty short so if I can read that in one day that would be great. It is 311 pages long, so not too terribly long. The font is not too small, so maybe Peaches. I do also have the sequel to Peaches if I happen to get through this, and I did see that the third book, because this is actually a trilogy, is available on Scribd, so Maybe one of those will be the book I read in one day, or it will be the book that I'm planning on reading for the next challenge. So let's get into that. The next challenge is First Blush, and that is to read a book with a queer romance in it. And for this, I'm going to read Felix Ever After by Case and Calendar. And in this book, we're following a transgender teen who has never fallen in love before. And I believe we're following him on this journey of being in love for the first time. 
so I think that fits the prompt perfectly. I have heard nothing but good things about this book and I'm really looking forward to finally reading it for this readathon. The next prompt is called Sunshine and it is to read a book that has been recommended by a booktuber or a book reviewer. I'm not 100% sure if I am going to get to this book during the readathon, but the one that I am thinking of choosing for this is Red Rising by Pierce Brown. I know many booktubers have recommended this book, but especially Natasha from Tashopolis really, really loved Pierce Brown's series. I believe there's four, three or four books in this series now. Um, but I have not read any of them, so I am looking forward to potentially picking this one up. I don't know very much about this book. I do know it is a dystopian, and then the back of the book says, His wife taken, his people enslaved, driven by a longing for justice and the memory of lost love, Daro will stop at nothing to bring down his enemies, even if he must become one of them to do so. For the first time, red will rise. So I am really, really interested and intrigued by that. And hopefully I will get to this book this week, if not another time, but I am really hoping to push myself to read a lot during this week. The next challenge is called Starfire, and that is to read a five-star prediction. This choice might also end up being the book that I read in one day because I am really looking forward to reading this book, and that is Rise to the Sun by Leah Johnson. I read You Should See Me in a Crown last year, and I pretty much read that in one day, so I am very excited to read this. I believe in this book we're following two girls that are attending a music festival and one is dealing with a recent breakup while the other is dealing with the grief of her father passing away and I think it's a lot about friendship and the healing power of music so I'm really interested to see where the story goes. Um, it says three days, two girls, one life-changing music festival. So I think that little like tagline is really intriguing and I am really looking forward to reading this. The next challenge is Spotlight and that is to shout out someone who has positively affected your life or your reading. And I will probably talk about this more in my upcoming vlog for the readathon itself or in an Instagram post, so definitely subscribe if you want to see the vlog for the readathon and check out my Instagram if you are interested in what I'm up to. And that is everything. I hope you will join in with the readathon too. Let me know what books you're planning on reading during the readathon or just whatever you're reading right now in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see my vlog or future videos from me. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.